I'm Vishnu, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Invisualo AI. So Invisualo in Latin means look after, and the whole premise of the company is to look after workers' safety. And that's a topic which I'm going to discuss today. How do we use AI to help improve workplace safety? And why does this mean a lot to me? I grew up in a family where uh, my dad is in manufacturing, I have relatives in construction, and safety has been a common language that we have spoken from day one. And it's been a big problem that's been bugging many countries across the world, and it is something that we have to address with or without AI. So this is a typical construction site, a lot of high-risk activities, a busy manufacturing plant, warehouse, and oil rigs, one of the most dangerous locations in the world. And what is the one common thing across all of these industries? Every single industry has shocking statistics of accidents. One out of four workers in this space suffers a major accident at least once in a lifetime, and this is crippling to the families and the companies. About 2,600 people are dying every single day because of this, uh, you know, the, the dangerous nature of these industries. And this affects personal lives, affects the people's families, and a lot of other personal implications to the workers. On top of this, from a financial standpoint, about $250 billion is lost every single year because of workplace fatalities. And why is this happening? You know, we are, we are living in a progressive world with a lot of safety protocols and things happening uh, that help improve safety standards. So me and my uh, co-founder of Invisualo, we went down to oil rigs, we stayed there, we stayed in construction sites, we stayed in deserts, uh, you know, really high-risk places, to really understand what is happening. And that's how Invisualo was born. And the key problem that these guys face all the time was a severe lack of visibility on what's going on, because sites are just so big, you can't really know what is going on everywhere. And secondly, you know, when there's an inspection going on, workers behave a lot safer. You know, they automatically become good behavior. But the moment workers are not around, sorry, the moment safety managers are not around, it goes back to, uh, you know, lack of following protocols. And on top of this, safety enforcement and patrols are very manual, tedious, and time-consuming. So a bit more of myself, uh, graduated from the National University of Singapore in 2019, spent one year in Silicon Valley uh, doing startups, uh, and interning in a few fast-paced companies. I co-founded with uh, my partner in 2021, and we're about four years into the journey, and happy to announce that we have been getting a lot of traction and recognition on regional and local media. So moving on to like, you know, how AI has actually been used on the ground uh, by the industry. Firstly, you know, uh, voice to text, then you have uh, text analytics, and lastly, you have video analytics. All these are different forms of um, you know, AI technologies that all of us have, interacting with, have been interacting with, and even industrial uh, companies have been using. Even simple things like you know, Siri or Google or using uh, ChatGPT, these are the most basic and you know, daily use forms of artificial intelligence. But how can we use the same uh, you know, concepts in industrial work sites? And that's what I'm going to talk about today um, in a bit. So one of the first things that we have done at Invisualo is to use AI to identify near misses. And this is the concept of using video analytics, where we have developed a software that analyzes uh, camera streams in real time to detect workplace fatalities and hazards. Things like people walking close to uh, open edges, people walking in the line of fire of moving vehicles, missing barricades, missing PPE, and the list goes on. Every industry has their own uh, you know, set of rules and concerns that could be identified with simple you know, AI technology that could be deployed. Secondly, it's been heavily used in predicting uh, you know, machinery breakdown, faults, and for predictive maintenance. A lot of industrial work sites have tons of machines, but there's no way to monitor the health of the machines. So by simply deploying sensors, analyzing the sensors using machine learning algorithms, a site team now has visibility on what uh, you know, to do next. And you know, we have also started using AI to recreate safety lapses, generative AI to create algorithms, sorry, create safety scenarios, mimic the various types of hazards, accidents that are not possible in real life. 
So this is then how we used to teach the AI to detect such things in the future, although such events have not happened before. So this is a way of like creating fake data sets for the algorithms to learn on top of it. So with that, you know, how does uh, AI and what does it mean to workplace safety? It changes more from a reactive space to a more proactive way of uh, detecting safety hazards. It centralizes the experience of numerous safety officers across the world. Imagine one central brain of safety managers uh, from thousands of years of experience and you know, various industries across the world. And it's also a safety officer that never sleeps and does not make many mistakes. But at the end of the day, you still need a human to verify and take the action. It doesn't do the whole preventive action for you. It just informs you of what to do next. And with that, uh, you know, I'd like to say that AI is here to stay. And being used in the right manner, having a very user-driven approach, staying with the customer on the ground is how you understand and really uh, tweak AI to help improve workplace safety. And with that, uh, thank you so much.